Hi everyone, so a very good day to you all. I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you to this session on the release of Antigra UAM60. First of all, uh, let me introduce myself. So I'm Viranga Gunaratna and I'm the business analyst at Antigra. Uh, it's a pleasure to guide you through the latest updates and features of this uh, latest version. So this session, uh, this is screencast is especially to introduce our latest product version and to cry UEM 6 you know. So before moving on to the release, uh, let me provide a brief overview for those who may be new to this space uh, because you might not be aware of the concept of UEM. So this uh, word UEM stands for Unified Endpoint Management, which has two main parts, mobile device management and mobile application management. So uh, this mobile device management uh, lets you to onboard your enterprise devices. So these enterprise devices can be either uh, mobile devices or IoT devices. So simply uh, it can be a smartphone or else it can be uh, any kind of device that can be connected to the internet. So you can set up device configurations, enforce policies and ex execute operations remotely on your enterprise devices. So, uh, so this mobile device management is like all about ensuring security compliance and protecting your corporate data. So on the other hand, uh, mobile application management allows you to remotely manage your apps on the devices. So this includes installing, uninstalling and upgrading apps across your device fleet. So all these things uh, can be done remotely without reaching out to your devices physically. Okay, so that's a brief overview of UEM. Uh, now let's take a look at uh, what is Entra UEM. So uh, to handle this task, what I have mentioned in the previous slide, uh, we have three different portals. So one portal is for device management and there are two separate portals for application management. So uh, the device management portal is called uh, endpoint management portal and the other two portals are publisher portal and the store portal. So uh, the endpoint management portal is the place uh, where you can onboard your devices. So uh, these devices can be Android, iOS or Windows. So in here you can enforce policies uh, for device security and track device locations, remotely control or troubleshoot your devices and also manage your user identities. So then when it comes to this application management, uh, the portal uh, to publish your application is called uh, the app publisher portal. So this publisher portal enables uh, developers to publish new applications to the app store. And also you can efficiently manage the entire life cycle of your applications from, uh, from their deployment to updates uh, and their removal. So once these uh, applications are published, uh, these new applications can be uh, accessed via App Store. So the admins can then proceed to install these application on end users devices. Also, you can perform these actions in bulk across multiple devices, across multiple users and user roles likewise. Also, you have the option to schedule these installations and uninstallations. Okay, so the next part is analytics. So these analytics offer a comprehensive view of your device management. So with this uh, single device embedded analytics, you can see individual device data and the device fleet view provides you an overview of your entire device fleet. Plus this uh, Grafana extensions integrates powerful visualization for more insights. Uh, also when it comes to these integrations, uh, we do have Android enterprise support and Apple business manager support. Also you can integrate external user directories or user stores if needed. Also you can integrate third party APIs expanding the functionality uh, of our UEM platform to suit your specific use cases. Okay, so now let's move to the latest version and see what uh, new features it has to offer. So actually we designed uh, UEM 6.0 with Windows users in mind. So it has a couple of features that uh, give you a better Windows device management experience. So uh, this Windows Azure AD integrated enrollment support uh, 
makes it easy to enroll your Windows devices to UEM with Azure AD, uh, which is recently renamed as Entra ID. So this process supports both Azure AD registered and joint Windows devices. Uh, you can easily enroll many devices at once, and this is perfect for large scale enterprise setups. So uh, if your company is already using Azure, so you can quickly adapt our UEM solution by connecting your Active Directory with our system so that uh, the employees can simply use their usual login, which they uh, use for all other company apps to sign up for the endpoint management portal as well. So it's uh, uh, it's quick and easy for both uh, the company and its employees uh, to get started onboarding their devices to this uh, endpoint management portal. So this uh, bulk enrollment feature lets you to set up your Windows devices remotely uh, by deploying configurations using provisioning packages. So uh, as usual, an admin has to uh, go through a lengthy process to set up each device, including installing Windows, configuring settings, and adding necessary apps before giving to the end users. But with uh, provisioning packages, uh, admins can create a single package with all these needed settings. And then they can simply share it with the users through something like USB drive so email. So in this way, admins can enroll Windows devices in bulk. And also uh, this supports both BYOD and COP enrollment mods. Okay, so... Uh, this group policy support, uh, with this you can set up over 200 group policy administrative templates for Windows devices. So uh, the admins who are already familiar with group policy editor, so they can use uh, their existing skills to set up and manage these ADMX policies with our UEM uh, solution. So they can just uh, keep doing what they're already good at. Okay. So this conditional email access feature is also one of the key features we are providing with this uh, UEM 6.0 release. So uh, this is kind of a policy uh, that enables admins to restrict user access uh, to their corporate mailboxes. So uh, let's say your employees can access their corporate email uh, from their personal devices. So uh, that sound might be okay, uh, but it can be harmful to your corporate data as the devices may be compromised. To solve this, uh, you can limit the devices that your users can use to access their corporate mailboxes. So you can require your employees to enroll their devices with the company's MDM solution. So uh, in simply, uh, if em employees want to read uh, their work emails on their personal devices, so they have to uh, sign up for those devices with the company's MDM. So if they don't, uh, they cannot access work emails on that device. So that's how it's working. Uh, and also you can customize these restrictions uh, based on your organization's needs, uh, whether it's for everyone or just specific device groups. So uh, other than these um, main features, uh, we do provide some other uh, features with this release. So this uh, just-in-time provisioning allows for easy Android login uh, using Microsoft Entra ID. So with this feature, uh, users can quickly set up their accounts through the external identity provider via Entra UEM. So this makes enrolling Android devices smooth and easy. And also, uh, uh, this enhanced logs feature uh, gives you detailed insight into the behavior of users and devices. So uh, if you need information about who performed a specific activity and when it occurred, so things like that, you can access all these details through this feature. And soon uh, we are planning to add Kibana dashboards, uh, making it easier for admins to see important events visually. So uh, there are multiple UI UX improvements as well. So we have added a UI tour guide uh, to the remote session file system to give you a better experience when uh, sharing files remotely. Also, you can now uh, customize your device listing page uh, to show what's most important to you. So you can customize what you should uh, see within the device listing page. So in addition to that, uh, 
Now the admins can remove multiple devices at once. So these are the uh, UI UX enhancements uh, we are taking with this UEM 6.0 release. All right, so let's um, move on to the demonstrations. So for this demonstration, I'll be highlighting the new features introduced in this uh, UEM 6.0 release rather than covering up the entire product. All right, so what I'm going to show now is our Integra UEM cloud environment. So the same product can be deployed locally as well. So once you logged into the portal uh, by entering your username and password, you will be redirected to this uh, dashboard view. So in here, you can basically see uh, the various uh, type of analytics that are related to your device, like device types, device status, device vendors. And also you can see the analytics related to the uh, applications and uh, groups as device groups as well. As I mentioned uh, during when I was talking about the Entra UEM overview, the platform is organized into different sections for device management and application management. So this endpoint management is the place where you can enroll your devices and uh, manage them. So for managing your device, uh, first you have to enroll them into this uh, endpoint management portal. So these devices can be Android, iOS, or Windows. So you can uh, enroll your devices using QR code or else you can do it manually. So as I mentioned, uh, in when we are talking about uh, the new releases, new features of this uh, 6.0 release, uh, we are providing an enrollment method to Android devices to enroll them via an external identity service provider. With this feature, uh, you can invite users with accounts hosted by external identity providers to enroll their devices into the uh, UEM server. So you can send invitations to these uh, external users and then uh, those users will receive an email containing a link uh, including all the steps related to the enrollment process. So by clicking on that link, users can initiate the enrollment process for their devices. So uh, when it comes to Windows, uh, we have streamlined the process by integrating Azure AD uh, with our Integra UEM server to enroll your Windows devices. So uh, to initiate this uh, enrollment process, you will first need to do some configurations from uh, the Azure AD end. And also there are some configurations should be done from uh, the UEM server end as well. So uh, you will need to obtain an Azure uh, Active Directory Premium P1 license or higher. And then uh, you need to create a mobility application uh, within your Azure tenant. So uh, from the UEM servers end, you will need to input uh, these values. So uh, these values uh, can be taken when uh, you were creating that mobility application on Azure portal. So uh, when uh, you successfully build out these fields and then you can integrate Azure AD with Integra UEM uh, for Windows device enrollment. So this integration uh, supports enrolling both Azure AD registered devices and Azure AD joint devices. Also it allows bulk enrollment uh, using provisioning packages to deploy configuration settings for the entire enrollment process. So if your company is already using Azure, uh, this integration makes it easy to connect your Active Directory with our uh, UEM server. So uh, then let's move on to the uh, policy support. So uh, we offer different set of policies tailored for each OS type, uh, Android, iOS, and Windows. So with this uh, UEM 6.0 release, uh, in addition to the existing general Windows policies, we now offer group policy support. So these group policies uh, include over 200 policies uh, within administrative templates that can be applied to your uh, Windows devices. So you have the flexibility to customize these policy sets uh, by enabling or disabling 
specific uh, settings based on your requirements of company rules. So I'm not going to cover up all these uh, new policies at the moment. So let me quickly go through a few of them to give you a better understanding. So uh, if you enable this early launch uh, anti malware policy setting, you will have the ab uh, ability to choose uh, which boot start drivers initialize the next time the computer starts. So, and when it comes to this uh, search policy, so uh, it allows you to configure various search settings and criteria. So this uh, ActiveX installer service policy setting enables you to specify how ActiveX controls are installed. So with this uh, add or remove programs policy setting, uh, you can specify what should and should not uh, appear on the add or remove programs page. As per an example, uh, you can define the categories of programs that appear when users open the add or uh, remove program page. And also you can hide uh, the add or add a program from CD-ROM or floppy disk option. Uh, likewise, you can uh, setting up different things you can uh, enable or disable these uh, different things related to this add or remove programs policy. So likewise, uh, you can define certain certain settings related to the uh, different aspects of your Windows devices. All right, now let's move on to uh, another new feature. So uh, with this UEM60, uh, we are providing conditional email access support. So we support a conditional email access for Microsoft Exchange online mail server. So before setting up uh, this feature from our uh, endpoint management console, we need to perform some necessary uh, server configurations on Azure. So this involves obtaining an Exchange Online Authority URL uh, for your tenant, as well as a client ID and client secret for the app you create in the Azure AD portal. So once you have these uh, details, you can proceed to set up uh, the CEA feature from here. So uh, within this setup process, uh, you will see something called a default access policy. So this policy applies to the devices configured with the CEA feature. So you have uh, three options to block, quarantine, or allow devices from accessing corporate emails based on specific use cases. You can also block Outlook access. Uh, this is due to the fact that uh, CEA cannot be provided for Outlook uh, because of its cloud service architecture. Also, you can set a grace period for devices to enroll them uh, in the UEM server. So during this period, uh, devices can freely access uh, their corporate mailboxes. However, uh, if a device owner fails to enroll the device in the UEM server, even after the grace, grace period expires, the mailbox access from that device will be blocked. So, so that's how this conditional email access feature works. In addition to these uh, key main features, we have made some UI UX enhancements as well. So you can customize the view of a uh, device listing table from here. Uh, you can select what you should see from there uh, by enabling or disabling specific device info fields. So the changes you made uh, will be appear on this device listing table. Also, uh, you now have the capability to delete multiple devices at once. So uh, this is also something developed new in response to our uh, customer request. So let me go inside one of the uh, active devices. As you may know, uh, we can remotely connect your devices through the UEM server to perform various remote activities. So this file sharing is one of the significant remote features we offer. And we have made several UI improvements and added it to a guide to enhance the user experience for those who are new to remote file sharing.
So that concludes a brief overview of what's new in the end cryo M6 era release. Uh, let me get back to the slides deck. All right. So uh, if you are new to our product, uh, we offer both cloud and on-premise options. Uh, plus we have a managed cloud service where our engineers take care of your private cloud for you. So uh, for our on-premise customers, the version 6.0 will be ready to download right away from our website. And for the cloud customers, you also can expect the cloud version very soon. So uh, looking ahead to the upcoming uh, 6.1 release, so that version is set to release in a couple of months. So we are focusing on making Windows better in that release as well. So we are currently in the planning and development stages, mainly for Windows patch management, USB device management, autopilot, and remote screen share support uh, for Windows devices. Uh, so in addition to that, uh, we are currently integrating Microsoft Store functionality for Windows devices, ensuring a seamless experience for Windows device users. So uh, to access the product, you can visit our website and sign up for either the on-premise or cloud version. So with the cloud account, uh, you can enroll your devices and explore the features through a 14 day free trial. And for the uh, on-premise users, you can also try out the uh, product version by downloading the uh, latest version of our uh, endpoint management solution. Okay, so that's all uh, about the UEM60 release. So uh, please feel free to reach out to us with any ideas or suggestions you may have. So thank you for watching the video and uh, yeah, stay ahead with Antigrap.